Hi, welcome to another episode of Fun with Park Lane Jewelry, and tonight we're featuring necklaces. So let's get started. We're going to go over here and we're going to look at the Luna necklace. This Luna necklace has millennial pink stones in there and an irregular pearl at the bottom. When we're talking about trends, I would definitely say pearl trend for sure, but I always think of the beach when I'm looking at this necklace. Then we're gonna look at the Harris necklace. This necklace is freshwater pearls and ladies, Gentlemen, these pearls are no longer for your grandmother or your mother. Put them on, go to the office, go right out for an evening. You're right in trend with pearls. Now we're going to look at the Sutton. The Sutton is a shorter chain and it's gold. And it has this beautiful pendant down here. And you can turn it over if you just want to wear the straight gold. Now let's look at the legend. The legend is made based on the Mercury dime, originally from 1916. And the dime was meant to indicate unity and strength. So this is really beautiful gold. It's got the crystals on the outside. If you want to, you could reverse it and wear it straight gold. This is a shorter pendant and therefore it would be great to pair it with something else. Maybe create a messy necklace for your trend. Now let's talk about the lagoon that I'm wearing. This piece is so stunning. It has natural ab abalone shell, hammered hematite crystals, and if you turn it over, it has mother of pearl. So you could wear it either way. Today I thought these colors went really well with the blue I was wearing. Now we're going to look at the rosewood necklace. The rosewood necklace is a nice long chain. This comes in silver and gold. I love the little beading feature on the chain. And then the pendant is hammered. So pretty. And once again, it comes in gold and silver. Now we're gonna talk about one of my real favorites, the olive necklace. It has turquoise in there, jade, some beads, and tan, and little silver connections in the middle with beads also, some gold in there, definitely some mixed metal in there. And I love that it comes naturally made in three layers, so you don't have to figure out what you're going to wear with it. You can just keep it all in one piece. Next, we have the Maisie necklace. This is silver. It's a little longer. It's the key. And then it does have crystals in there. I think it probably is the key to life. Get one of those to figure it out. Now let's look at the gilded necklace. This is one of my favorite shorter necklaces. It's not short, uh, probably a medium, but I love the chain. I would say it's a Lux Link chain. And then it has mixed metals because it does have the hammered gold. I love how they put some of that in into the chain, the Lux Links. Really nice piece. And one of my favorite things about this is that when you turn it around, you get the sterling silver etching. So beautiful. So this is really fun to wear. You could mix it with some other necklaces if you want. 
Now another one that would be a necklace that you don't have to find something to pair with it is the Love Lock necklace. This has four chains, a pendant on the top, a chain, it has the key on the third one, and then the lock on the fourth one, hence the Love Lock name. Now we have the Soleil necklace next. This one definitely has the Lux Link chain in here. It also has the Sun pendant with gold, turquoise, and it also has some crystals. The Sun symbolizes strength, life, and influence with strength. Once again, here's another necklace that you could turn around and look at the little etchings on that. So it would be really beautiful to wear. You could pair that with a gold, maybe a gold rosewood, so long. Now let's look at the Juliet necklace. The Juliet necklace is a shorter, probably medium size again. It has the heart, I have it hanging crooked or sideways, but you can move the chain and have your heart hanging straight up and down. Now let's look at the Turn It Up necklace. This one is mixed metals. It does fall into a messy necklace also. I love the little shapes and those are in silver with a gold chain. That's a, a little longer than what I would consider medium. Well, probably medium and short with the shorter necklace. Now let's look at the Peyton necklace. This is a shorter silver necklace. It has a teardrop pendant crystal and that is hanging at a side angle. Real pretty. You could obviously pair this with something else. Finally, we're going to look at the Majestic Necklace. The Majestic Necklace is new in the spring summer line and I'm going to get these all spread out for you. So you can see it has a unicorn it has the unicorn horn and then the pendant and the circle holding them all has crystals. This is a longer necklace. I hope you saw some necklaces from Park Lane that you really like. Comment below after this and tell me which one or ones you really liked and get an entry into the grand prize drawing. I look forward to seeing you again with another night of Park Lane Jewelry. Take care, bye-bye.